How so certain are you at this point that a default can be avoided with so little time left? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain because I, you have uh, the 95 percent of the member. I shouldn't. I won't put in a number. An overwhelming number of the members of the Congress know it would be a disaster. You said you're certain you're not going. They're not. There will be a default. Um, are you willing to take unilateral action, like invoking the 14th Amendment, to make sure that doesn't happen? <clears throat> well. Uh, the question, I have been considering the 14th Amendment, and a man I have enormous respect for, Larry Tribe, who advised me for a long time, thinks that it would be legitimate. But the problem is it would have to be litigated. And in the meantime, without an extension, it would still end up in the same place. I'll be very blunt with you. When we get by this, I'm thinking about taking a look at months down the road as to see whether what the court would say about whether or not the uh, it does work yes sir mr president do you trust kevin mccarthy uh i i i trust kevin will try to do what he says uh i don't know that uh um i don't know how much leeway kevin mccarthy thinks he has in light of the fact and i'm not being a wise guy when i say it took 15 votes for him to acquire the speakership and apparently he uh had to make some serious concessions to get it from the most extreme elements of his party. So I, but I don't, I just don't know. Are you more, are you more or less optimistic than you were this morning? More. Why? Because I'm a born optimist, okay? Uh, Title 42, uh, is the United States ready for the surge of people that's going to come across the border starting later this week? I spent, uh, about, I close to an hour with, uh, with the Mexican president today. Uh, we're doing all we can. Uh, the answer is, uh, it remains to be seen. Uh, we've gotten overwhelming cooperation from Mexico. Uh, we also are in the process of setting up res uh, uh, offices in Colombia and other places where you can, where someone seeking asylum can go first. So, but it remains to be seen. It's gonna be chaotic for a while. And as an example, as I raised in the meeting, when they said, well, we're going to cut and no spending more money. So what the hell happens? If you cut, are you going to cut people at the border? You're going to cut agents at the border? We, know, we need more at the border, not less at the border. Folks, thank you very, very much. I appreciate your time. And uh, I'm sure we're going to be talking more about this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> he wants to know if, if the U.S. defaults, will you be able to say that you did everything in your power to avoid it? I promise I you, I will do everything in my power to avoid it. Thank, Thank you, Mr. President.